Hey, welcome back. This is Jared at Three C's Recreation. We've got a 600 Touring leaving today, and I thought I would give you guys a quick walk around video of the new C4 600s. This is a 2021 on the MSO, but it has all the updates of a 2022 with all the new hand controls. So let's kind of start up in the front. This customer added a front bumper. Uh, he also added a rear bumper, and he added the storage box. We have a separate video on that storage box on our channel. So if you're looking uh, about more information, how does it come off and uh, how does it open, uh, check that video out. So up here, it's got the LED headlights. I can turn the key on, but it's kind of useless during the day. But um, high beam, low beams are LEDs. This machine does have the 2,500 pound winch standard. We got the bigger 25 inch tires. And I, when I say bigger compared to like the 400s, and it does have the aluminum wheel upgrade. What's nice about this model is that it is a true touring. So it's a very comfortable backrest. It's got the nice handhelds and it's got the raised footing. So uh, we have kids here at the shop. Uh, my six year old fits great on it, but even all the way up through an adult can find comfort in that seat. So if you're gonna go trail riding, I think it's important to buy the right machine. Up in the front here, we have our 12 volt and our USB plugs. We got a nice gear selector, just like all the rest of the CF motos. We have low range, high, neutral, reverse, and park. And you can just, you know, shift as you need to. You never want to shift from low to high while you're moving. You always want to come to a complete stop. This is so we can lock the machine in park. If we take the ignition key, now that it's in park and turn that, it'll make it so you can't um, shift it. That way, if you're in like a grocery store parking lot and you're afraid of somebody taking off with your machine, they can't. It's got nice wide fender flares to keep the mud off the driver. It is a dual A-arm front suspension. So you get a ton of ground clearance with this model with a full length skid plate. This model has a great display. It's hard to tell and I'm using a GoPro so there might be some wind noise too, I apologize. But um, got a gas meter on this side and I can maybe make it brighter. Nah, it's not going to be much brighter during the day, you can't tell. Um, but right now we're in park. This would be RPMs. All of our machines leave with a full tank of fuel. This is our two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive button here. And then our temp sensor on that side. This is our ignition switch here. We've got storage down by our knee. Nice little spot. You can tuck a pair of gloves or maybe your phone in there. And then as you come, oh, we got a foot brake here on the floor as well. This runs all four. And then in the back, we have a nice storage bin as well. And this is the stock one. Obviously, the one up on top here is extra. I would put a rope back here. I wouldn't put anything that you want to keep dry, though. Um, it's not super watertight. It does have independent rear suspension. You got a two inch receiver in the back. And like I mentioned earlier, this customer added their rear bumper, uh, but this does have a nice stock bumper here. I like to point out on these machines that they have reverse lights. So let me turn the key on here and I'll put it in reverse. And again, during the day, it's really hard to tell, but these are lit up now. And at night, instead of trying to ride your brakes, if you're trying to back up to a trailer, it really gives you a lot of light. And CF Moto is super cool. It gives you a nice uh, running light that goes all the way across the back. Again, daylight uh, is uh, hurting us to see that, but it is there and it's super cool. I can start it for you guys. So put it in park here. Well, real quick, these are the new hand controls. Um, so instead of, uh, they got rid of the horn too. This is our light switch now. This is our start and kill switch. This is the same, this is our winch in and out. And then on this side, we have a new four wheel drive switch. And I hope that the GoPro can see this in the daylight here. Um, so what we got here is right now it's in two wheel drive. We'll flick this to four wheel drive. And now it's a normal four wheel drive system. And if you need all true four wheels to spin, we're gonna flick this up and push this button out. Sorry, the phone is ringing, I had to answer that. So right now we're in true four wheel drive. We've pushed this button out and you can see the X and it's blinking on the display there. It means it's locked into four wheel drive. All four tires are gonna spin all the time. And we'll push that back in, flick this down back to the standard four wheel drive and then we'll go one more and that puts us back into two wheel drive. So this is the new right hand control. This is the new left hand control. And now that our key is on and we're in park. 
This machine does have power steering as well. It's super easy. Um, comes with the hand guards, those are stock. It's a beautiful day here in western New York. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jared from 3 Seas Recreation. We do a ton of CF Moto stuff and we're starting to film more of it. If you have any questions on this model, give us a call. Or if you're interested, we'd love to work with you. Have a great day.